As the only Wisconsin native in the Daytona 500, Richfield's Josh Balicki continues to scrap and claw as the underdog with Wisconsin companies from the Badger State supporting him along the way. We have three great Wisconsin companies on the car. Uh, Wisconsin Lighting Lab, which is located in Fond du Lac. Uh, they create and make high output LED lighting and lighting products. So for me to carry them on our car at the Daytona 500, our biggest race of the year, is, is really cool. I mean, their name says it all, Wisconsin Lighting Lab. We also have Palermo's Pizza, uh, which that's my favorite pizza brand. Uh, so for that to come together, that actually came together through Wisconsin Lighting Lab. Um, so it's funny how all these deals came out. Um, I'm, I'm excited to have Palermo's. We also have custom fiberglass molding. Uh, Lance from custom fiberglass molding. He's a racer himself. Josh carries the Wisconsin banner well. I mean, I'm excited for the 500, but I can tell you that I'm just excited for the Road, uh, the Road America Cup race. It's 4th of July weekend. I don't think you could have any better date for that. I mean, the Saturday Xfinity race, the Sunday Cup race, it's going to be epic. Um, I can tell you my Wisconsin partners, they're excited. My fans are excited. My family's excited. Uh, that's that's definitely number one on my list. And I think I have more track uh, on-track experience than most uh, cup drivers. Uh, so hopefully we can use that to our advantage, being a small team, and, and go there to compete up front. With a small team, he does his own marketing and social media. So he hears the naysayers when they mention he's just a field filler or back marker. Uh, there's been a lot of times in my career, especially driving for smaller teams, where I kind of thought to myself, well, you know, this this might be it, or is it even worth taking the next step? And you go to sleep and you wake up the next morning and, you know, you come out with a clean mindset. and You say, all right, you know, it is time to take the next step. Josh finished 24th, but the best part, he didn't get caught up in the big wrecks at Daytona. Lance Allen, TMJ4 Sports.